Hey guys, okay, this is the video demonstration for notebook sample number four. Um, if you're watching this video, I am assuming that you have already watched the foundation videos and you have found yourself a mouse with a little swirly wheel and you've completed notebook sample number three. So what our goal is to do in this one is to move the side dart up to the neck. Okay, so there's another video of me doing this by paper. Um, this video, I'm gonna show you how to do it in Clo. So um, first things first is you need to select your dart. So we will pick our little um, selection tool here, edit pattern tool, letter Z, keyboard shortcut, and then go ahead and click the dart. Now remember, when you click one leg, and you click the other one, the first one deselected. So how do you select both dart legs? Hopefully you are shouting at me right now saying you hold the shift key down, which is correct. Okay, now we should be able to right click and see rotate, but rotate's not here and full disclosure, I don't know why. <laughs> I'm gonna ask my contacts at Clo, and I'm sure they will have a very enlightening reason why. But I do know if I hit edit dart, like maybe there's something wrong with the dart, I don't know. If I hit edit dart and I just say okay, it kind of changes it. You see that? Oh, my, okay, give my mouse a minute. My computer's thinking. So it changed. Maybe there was something wrong with my dart and I didn't know. Whoopsies. Um, okay, so now let's try it again. So you'll have to do that. So I'm gonna hold shift. And I would love to give you more reason of what was wrong with it and why I couldn't rotate it. So just stay tuned for that one day. Okay, but now it seems to be fixed. So I right click and I have the option to rotate my dart. Okay. So now I'm going to click where I want to rotate it to. We want it to come up in our neckline. So I'm just going to click right here in the middle. And then I can decide where on this point I want my dart line, what angle I want it to be. I want it to be kind of in line with the waist dart. So I'm going to click right here. I'm going to click left with my mouse. Okay, now I'm not clicking anything, but I'm just moving my mouse and you can see I'm able to now close the start and when I close it, it opens at the neck. So I'm good with that. I believe if you right click a menu pops up and I'm just gonna left click. Now I have another choice, so much control. I can decide how long I want my dart. So I guess I will just click it to like right here. And so I just click with my left mouse. And voila, there we are, my pattern is complete. I have a leftover baseline here. Um, if I don't want that baseline anymore, baselines are purple lines, I can get rid of it. It's defaulted to be locked. So I think what I have to do is right click and I can say unlock all baselines. And then I can probably just delete it individually or if I right click, let's see if it'll let me delete all of them. I don't know, let me try right clicking. delete all baselines. I could delete it individually one by one, sometimes that takes a while. So there's the option to delete all of them. I don't really care if you leave it, but just in case it bothers you and you want to get rid of it, that's how you get rid of it. Um, so now all you have to do with your pattern is name it, which you should know how to do that based on the previous video. And you have the option of adding seam allowance or not as well. And um, But now we got to get it sewn up over here. So um, hopefully by now you're getting more familiar with navigating the view port here if I hold option I can click and drag I can zoom in with the right click here okay so I obviously need to sew this guy up Ooh, he looks kind of crazy <laughs> so let's see if this magic simulation button will solve all my problems yeah yay cool there we are and then we can always add in our avatar back if you like Okay, see how it's fitting her? Whoa. Okay, great. So there you have it. Um, so now all you have to do is take your snapshots so you can um, embed those images into the discussion board to share with the class and get graded. And as always, please email me if you guys have any questions.